would you group a Ned rig with a shaky head? I think the tube and the Ned rig are in the same category. And so I think the difference is the profile. If the fish are feeding on mad toms, which is a tile of little catfish. And I always say you guys all at home, Google mad Tom catfish, Potomac River, Shenandoah River, something like that. It looks just like a tube. It's a thicker body profile. I think when they're keying in on little catfish or bigger crayfish, I think the tube plays. I think if they want a smaller style, a, a more thinner profile, I think that's when the Ned Rick really plays. Now, with that said, I think the biggest um, shaky head killer, what, what it really helps I, I pair with is a jig. Wherever you would throw a jig is where you can throw a shaky head. It's more of the finesse approach of that. And because of this head attached to the hook shank like this, you get really good feel through your line of what that bait is doing. So I basically fish it just like a jig. Flip it out there. I can I can just move the line, shake the line like you would a jig, and it's going to make that bait work. Now, so I, hopefully that answers your question. And so I would honestly think like I would go a jig, a shaky head, then a tube or a Ned Rick, if we're going down the spectrum of finessiness, um, if that make if that makes sense to you. But I mean, that's my thoughts on it. 